Welcome to the part 3 of structure of bacteria series. In the previous video we discussed about the structures external to the cell wall. In this video, let's understand the bacterial cell wall. Cell wall is an external layer, present just above the cell membrane. Cell wall is present in all bacteria, except mycoplasma. It is a rigid structure, that gives a shape to the bacterial cell. Based on the cell wall structure, the bacteria are divided into two groups, called gram-positive, and gram-negative bacteria. The composition of gram-positive bacterial cell wall, is completely different from gram-negative bacteria. Let's understand the differences, and the arrangement of biomolecules. Peptidoglycan layer, also called as murin, is common component of cell wall of gram-positive, and negative bacteria. It is composed of two major parts, glycan portion, and peptide portion. The glycan portion of peptidoglycan, forms the backbone. The glycan portion is composed of N-acetyl glucosamine, and N-acetyl muramic acid. These two sugars are bound by beta-1-4 glycoside bond. The carboxyl group of N-acetyl muramic acid, is connected to a tetrapeptide side chain. This tetrapeptide side chain, is composed of four amino acids, which include, L-alanine, D-glutamic acid, L-lysine, or diaminopamelic acid, and D-alanine. The tetrapeptide side chains of two adjacent murates, are linked by a peptide bridge. In gram-negative bacteria, this cross-link is formed directly, between the third amino acid, which is diaminopamelic acid, and D-alanine, which is the fourth amino acid. In gram-positive bacteria, this cross-link is formed between D-alanine, and L-lysine, by 5-glycine amino acids. The cell wall of gram-positive bacteria, is thick. The major part, that is 90% of gram-positive bacterial cell wall, is composed of peptidoglycan layer. The remaining 10% consists of proteins, polysaccharides, and tecoic acid. Tecoic acid is either connected to an acetyl muramic acid of peptidoglycan, or, to the lipids in the cytoplasmic membrane. Tecoic acid bound to the lipids, is called, Lipotecoic acid, or LTA. Tecoic acids, covalently bound to the peptidoglycan of cell wall, are called, Waltecoic acid or WTA. Tecoic acids provide rigidity to the cell wall, and also regulates, the cell wall rupture by autolysine enzymes. Tecoic acids are found only in gram-positive bacteria, and absent in gram-negative bacteria. The structure of gram-negative cell wall, is more complex, than gram-positive bacterial cell wall. External to the thin, and single-layered peptidoglycan, 
an outer membrane is present. The space between the outer membrane and the inner plasma membrane is called periplasmic space. This periplasmic space is also present in gram-positive bacteria. However, it is very smaller when compared with gram-negative bacteria. The substance present in the periplasmic space is called the periplasm. Many proteins and enzymes are present in the periplasm. Periplasm hosts biochemical reactions that cause degradation, transport, and motility. The outer membrane can be found only in gram-negative bacteria and absent in gram-positive bacteria. The outer membrane contains proteins, phospholipids, and lipopolysaccharides. Lipopolysaccharides are unique components of gram-negative bacteria and are referred as endotoxins. The outer membrane also contains large quantities of bronze lipoprotein. It is covalently bound with the peptidoglycan layer, present underneath, by its hydrophobic end. Bronze lipoprotein strongly holds the peptidoglycan layer and outer membrane. The other proteins present in the outer membrane are porins. Porins form a narrow channel and allow different molecules pass through. The lipopolysaccharides are complex molecules, composed of three regions. Lipid A, corpolysaccharide, and O antigen. As we discussed earlier, there are a lot of differences in the cell wall of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Let's have a look at them.